Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is what we like to call the Bible Bistro, where you and I just come in, sit down, and have us a conversation over some hot and fresh Bible. We got that served up every day here at Daily Dose Radio, and it's hot and fresh because it's 100% Bible, and that's guaranteed. Today, we're looking at Psalm 54, verse 7. It comes at the end of really what has proven to be just this wonderful little psalm we have the prayer in verses 1, 2, and 3, followed by the Selah. So we have this nice break. Then we have this confession. I love the confession in verse 4, don't you? I, I love that. Behold, God is mine helper, and the Lord is with them that uphold my soul. Now, that section, that phrase right there, the Lord is with them that uphold my soul, is stands in contrast to what happens next or what's said next. He will reward evil unto mine enemies. So we have those that uphold him, those that are his enemies. And of course, we we know that he's referring to the Zephim, because that group are the ones that came to Saul and said, hey, we know where David is, come get him. He's hiding in, in our land, in our territory. So why don't you come down there and get him? David's referring to that, but even though he has a group that's against him and he has some people that are for him, Still, the number one controlling factor here is God is mine helper. And that's why he prayed to him. That's why he said, save me, O God, by thy name. Judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. And then he describes these oppressors. And, of course, Saul is the the largest figure behind all that. And then we have verse 6, what we covered yesterday. Verse 6 is... um, you know, I will freely sacrifice. How does David freely sacrifice when he is holed up in some den of the earth with a bunch of his mighty men, 140, something like that, in his little group, in his little band, and he's holed up with them. And not only that, but they're tightly shut up because Saul is looking for them. So they're not going anywhere fast. How do you freely sacrifice in a situation like that? Well, it's the same way we freely sacrifice. David prayed, God saved. And so with his heart, he is free. Now, he's free from the worry. He's free from the concern. He's asked the Lord, and he knows he's received his answer. And whether the Lord delivers him and clears him of Saul, maybe David doesn't know the answer to that question, but he knows that God's going to save because he asked. And we know the promise of the Lord, that he hears the cry of the man who, with contrition of heart, calls out to him. So today, verse 7, will conclude the psalm. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. So David recounts the fact that God has done a delivering work. He says he's delivered me out of all trouble. Now, <clears throat> if we cast this in the historical light of Psalm 123, David's not done with trouble yet. So this statement, all trouble, must be another confession of faith. Let's rank it with verse 4, Behold, God is mine helper. Now we come to verse 7, For he hath delivered me out of all trouble. Well, of course, if God is your helper, then he will deliver out of all trouble. And he's going to deliver out of all trouble. So David makes this beautiful confession of faith to end this. Why and how? Because he prayed. And he's confident in the God that he prayed to. Mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. That is God's desire. So David saw what God did. And he tells us as much of what he's going to do. He'll reward evil unto his enemies. And now his eye sees God's desire upon David's enemies. Well, this is a beautiful way to end the psalm, isn't it? David takes us to the height sublime of confession and gives us this little taste of his faith somewhere hiding in a cave of the earth with 140 of his men. I hope you'll join me next week, and we're going to look at Psalm 55. So I'll see you then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. 
The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.